guys, Cassie here coming to you live from my basement where I create all sorts of crazy Relay for Life stuff. Um, today I want to show you how to make these awesome little paint tubes to use for your decor for your upcoming Relay for Life events. Um, the theme this year nationwide is Paint Your World Purple and so if you're using that at your local event these are a really fun um, decoration item that you can make. You can also make these big sizes up here. It's really easy. You just use bigger pieces. So um, this is a super easy project. I started to blog a step-by-step -step tutorial, but it made it seem a little bit more complicated than what it is. So I thought it would be better just to make you guys a video to show you really quick. Um, here's what you're going to need. This is um, air duct that you buy at your local home improvement store. And this is called a reducer that goes on this. Um, as you can see, you can already see where the pieces come together. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to go shopping at a home improvement place just to get ideas of something fun to make as far as decor goes. Um, and so I saw something similar to this on Pinterest and I thought, oh yeah, I could totally make that. So you can make it too because it's so easy, you're not even gonna believe it. So get this at your local home improvement store. Then you're going to need some glue. I like to use the silicone glue because it stays flexible. Um, and with these things being moved around and stuff like that, it might be a good idea to have something that can move a little bit without breaking. Um, and then a glue stick. And last but not least, you're going to need a label for this project. Um, I know you're like, oh, Cassie, I'm not a graphic designer. That's okay because I like to share stuff. So I'll post this on my blog for you to use for your own event. And this is just printed off on my printer here at home. So it's not like you have to get anything fancy. It's just a piece of paper. Okay, so let's get started. First, I want to show you where you want to buy this stuff at your local home improvement store. So check this out real quick. I'll show you everything. This area is full of paint tube making goodness. Everything you need is right here. Okay. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to put this together. This particular tube is four inches and the reducer is four inches reduced down to three inches. Um, they look best when you just go down by one inches and you'll find they make them for each size. So there's the seam right here and you simply snap it together. It's really super easy. It's made to connect together like this. Did you hear that click? That means it's together. Okay. This is the end that you're gonna want to look like the end of your paint tube. So you'll put this part on the ground and take your reducer and you're gonna wanna attach, put some glue right here on the inside just to make sure that it's extra secure and it doesn't fall off. So super simple, just a little line will do. Also, you should probably take these labels off. Um, I have found that the easiest way to get them off is they don't really come off easily by peeling them. So I like to use a little acetone a nail polish remover on them and it gets all that extra goop right off. Also, um, goop off would work really good too. I just didn't have any handy and I like to use whatever I have around the house. So, all right, you're gonna take this and slide it on and it should go on fairly easy. You might have to bend the metal just a little bit to make it fit on there. Make sure that guy's on there pretty good because you want that glue to adhere. Now, if you want, you can also go in here. If you use like a caulking gun with a glue attachment on it, you can reach on the inside here and apply it. But for these smaller one, that's not necessarily something you need to do. I can see where the glue is reaching both pieces in there. So now you're going to take a minute and let this dry. And this would be a good time to go print off your label and cut it out. Um, Obviously, you're going to need different size labels for different size tubes. So this is a smaller one. It's not a full sheet. This one is two pieces of paper glued together. So take a moment and go get that printed out and then come back and see me. All right, it's been about an hour and our glue is dry. And now comes the easiest part. And you guys are literally like not even going to believe how ridiculous this is. This is the easiest project. Okay, so you want to flatten this out to look like this. I think it'd be really cool to kind of roll them up too, like they've been used a little bit, but this is just for the simple method. And this, the science behind this is really amazing. All you're gonna do is step on it. Ta-da! And that gives you the shape that you want. Now you notice here how my seam came undone? I can pop that back in there, or if you needed to, you could add a little glue right here because you're just taking it and changing the shape so it might come in there. But see, that one just popped right back in there. Um, 
on this bad mama jamma right here it was much more difficult and i ended up having to leave the back seam open and i took some um, silver duct tape and put it on there to make sure there were no sharp edges so now that this part is done all you have to do is put your label on and it is literally as simple as using a glue stick and putting it on the label you want to be sure you get the edges really good so that they don't end up sticking up if you wanted to, you could put a clear coat. Like say, for example, if your event is outdoor and you're worried about it raining or this getting wet for some reason, you would probably want to put a clear coat on it. My particular event is inside, so that's not something we have to worry about. And then you're going to place it where you want it. And actually, on actual paint tubes, they are, it's going to look upside down. But really, this is the top. So you're going to put it it's up to you. If you want to put it the other way, you are more than welcome to. These particular tubes we're going to use for an upcoming event, our statewide conference. And my team is going to have a mock relay booth set up there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these and put them on the legs of our canopy. And then we're going to take some um, purple tablecloth, the cheapy plastic kind, and shoot them out here and attach them to the legs of our canopy so it looks like our tent is being covered in purple paint, which is really cool. So there you have it. If you like this, please share it with your friends. Um, the best thing about being a relayer is that we all share ideas with each other and we can uh, learn more and gain more from sharing ideas with each other. So share it, pin it, let everybody know. And if you have any questions, just holler at me. And remember, you can find these labels on my blog. It's cassieselby.blogspot.com, and I'll put that in the comments below so that you can find it easily and print them out yourself. I'll put a couple of different sizes on there for you guys to check out, and uh, I really want to see what you do with these, so share pictures with me and let me see them. Tell me what you think about it in the comments, and uh, good luck. I hope you guys all have an amazing relay season, and thank you for painting the world purple with me. Bye.